Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the asylum. Today we're going to work on the uh, SR500 again. I've mostly just been riding it around, fixing this little niggly problems that it's got here and there and yonder. It's piddly little stuff, mostly. It's just aggravating. One of the most aggravating things is it would intermittently just cut off for no apparent reason, but then once you coast it to a stop, it would start right back up, or if you let off the gas and were going up to a stop sign, it would cut off. But it always immediately restarted. The idle mixture is correct. The idle speed was correct. And I was been scratching my head, honestly, trying to figure out what it was. Then today, earlier, it acted as though it were running out of gas. And then it wouldn't start back. I know I had plenty of gas in it, but after I wore my leg out kicking it, I went ahead and opened the gas cap just to see how much gas was in the tank. And then when I closed it up, it fired up immediately. So, here's what we're going to do about that. First, of course, close the tank off so nothing gets in it. Now we're going to remove the gas cap and take it over here to the workbench. I'm going to take a second and move the camera over there and let you see what I'm doing. Okay, I've got the cap laid off on the workbench here. These three screws on the back side of it. As you can see, it's got some tank sealer over it. But the hole here was not stopped up. Take these screws out. Okay. This piece is connected by its rubber gasket that goes around the internal piece. You want to make sure that this hole is nice and clear that you can see through it, that it's not plugged up with dirt. This one was actually plugged up with sand earlier. All right, the next hole you need to check and make sure it's clear is get a little dental pick like I've got here. You may have to dig it out if there's enough crud and corrosion around it. And you have this little small metal disc with a small hole in the center of it. And then, you want to check down in here, make sure this is clean where it comes up. Scrape out any dirt. Clean it all up good. It's helpful if you need to. You can spray some carburetor cleaner in it. Just make sure you don't get any in your eyes. Make sure it comes out at the top. Like so. Make sure that this is all cleaned out. I could put this in the ultrasonic cleaner too, but I'm not right now. I don't need to for just to make sure that this has been the problem. So all of these parts are cleaned up. You'll set the little disc back in place. Clean this off as best you can. You want to be careful with the rubber parts. I usually prefer to clean the rubber parts with WD-40.
I will eventually need to replace this entire gasket, but it's not leaking at this point. So I'm not too terribly worried about it. All right, then you set this back in place. Work, work the gasket around the metal flange here till it sets over. Turn this around until your holes line are lined up, and your screw holes are lined up. I probably wouldn't have caught this if it had not acted like it was completely out of fuel. And then I opened the gas tank. But it's something to keep in mind if you ever seem to be having an intermittent fuel supply problem and you can't understand why, then this vent hole in your gas cap could be partially stopped up. Let's go put this back on the motorcycle right quick. The easiest way I found to do this, just drop the screw back in the hole there. Put your screwdriver in top of it. Line it up. Snug it down. I just snug it down to start with, then close the lid. After you snug it down and close the lid, then take the key and unlock the lid, and then give it the final tighten. And of course, make sure these things have a little slot and groove in here that lines it up so that it should be straight, but there's a little play in them. So I like to make sure that I snug the lid, latch it down, open it, and then tighten it all the way just to make sure that it's in a straight line. Well now it's time for a little test ride. That's great, that helped a lot. That helped. That's a 45 minutes of running time without cutting off a single time. So I think that has cured my intermittent engine stall issue is cured. It was all in the gas cap vent. So if you're having problems that you just can't diagnose 
It's easy to diagnose when the thing acts like it's running out of gas and it quits, which this one finally did earlier today. But I think that the gas cap vent being partially stopped up was part of my problem the entire time. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you learned something. Keep wrenching, keep riding, and stay crazy.